So day six here in North Dakota. I'm uh, west of Fargo, stayed in Fargo last night and uh, had a good day yesterday, day five. Uh, it was pretty uneventful. Um, I did uh, locate a uh, Honda dealer in Minnesota uh, outside of St. Paul, Minneapolis, St. Croix Power Sports. Uh, they were really cool, excited to hear about my trip and got me right in. I needed to get my tires checked because my rear tire is uh, wearing pretty fast, faster than I expected. Um, and I needed that center stand installed because that center stand came in at the last minute before this trip and that's a key uh, piece of equipment that I wanted on this motorcycle in case I get a flat tire because I do have everything uh, to fix a flat on the road and the center stand will get those tires up in the air. Otherwise I'd have to lay the motorcycle down to, to literally change out uh, an inner tube. So don't want to have to do that. Um, but great service from St. Croix Power Sports yesterday. It was about a two hour delay and uh, got uh, the oil changed, uh, got the, uh, the chain uh, uh, adjusted on the motorcycle, and lubricated and just an overall inspection. So uh, that was good peace of mind and uh, the motorcycle seems to be doing great but one of the interesting things about these tires I chose a, uh, a really um, aggressive off-road tire um, I'll show you here so this tire is what's called a 50 50 tire meaning that because of the aggressive lug pattern uh, it's designed for about 50 percent highway 50 percent off-road use and that's considered about the limit for adventure sport riding um, I chose such an aggressive tread because believe it or not even though that's heavily you know obviously 50 percent you know quote unquote 50 percent rated for for off-road riding it's such a soft rubber that it gets fantastic street traction so turns and all of those things are just really locked in on this bike and it's so I really discovered that uh, how true that was going to be um, when I went through my motorcycle training class when we were doing kind of a slalom course and well this motorcycle really performed well so so excited about that so I'm glad I got this um, but the tire is not going to make it to Fairbanks which is what I had originally planned on so uh, tomorrow I'll be in Edmonton and I'm going to get a new rear tire installed front tire is doing great um, its knobbies are in good shape um, so I'm gonna hold off on replacing that for now um, maybe it'll make it to Fairbanks I think they probably will and then I'll get a new set of, uh, uh, I'll look at getting a new front tire uh, in uh, Fairbanks and uh, you know for the trip up the Dalton Highway and the long gravel roads uh, but day six is going great fantastic weather uh, it was a little windy yesterday, uh, it was getting beat up a little bit, but still just phenomenal temperatures. Uh, North Dakota is pretty, uh, it's green. Uh, I'm heading to Portal, North Dakota uh, today to cross over into Canada, and I'll be in Regina, Saskatchewan tonight if all goes well. Uh, it's a 500 mile trip today, so pretty long day, um, but you know, just allow for 12 hours or so that way it gives me time to take some breaks and uh, do some journaling and um, you know just generally stretch my legs so I don't get too uh, uh, sore from riding that far uh, but trip is going great I just love this motorcycle um, it's just been phenomenal it, it rolls down the highway so smoothly it's really it's really good on the highway and in fact the, the interstate here um, 94 Interstate 94 heading uh, west out of uh, Fargo um, is 75 miles an hour so uh, running my typical uh, 10 over running 85 down the highway with this load it's been it's been smooth it's been great uh, so uh, it's kind of fun actually uh, cruising along at that speed so uh, enjoying the ride and uh, having a great day six and uh, getting pumped up, getting ready to go into Canada. Um, so uh, this trip wasn't designed to be a photo safari. 
And uh, so uh, I really would love to take more pictures, but it just takes so much time. And there's so many unknowns with this trip, not have, you know, since I've never done anything like this before. Uh, and as I've been traveling these past few days and staying in Airbnbs with, in people's homes, you know, I'm not staying in a totally private uh, rental. I'm, I'm actually renting out a room in someone's house where they're living. And I really thought that, you know, that would uh, be opportunities for me to meet some interesting people and have some conversations. But my days are so long and the logistics of, you know, taking this gear off, you know, taking this off each day, uh, you know, repacking it nice and tight, making sure everything's on here. It just takes time. Um, and, uh, and also I'm trying to get, you know, exercise runs in and, uh, you know, do a little journaling, do a little emailing. And so, you know, there's really been uh, not much time for, for socializing. And, uh, and so, uh, but that's not the point of this trip. The point wasn't to stop and smell the roses and uh, check out every little side trip, which I love to do normally uh, and love to be spontaneous that way. This is, this is a pretty disciplined, uh, let's stick to the schedule. Uh, let's get to that next location, you know, because this adventure is to me about the accomplishment of being able to plan something, um, you know, and create uh, your game plan and, uh, you know, push yourself a little bit. And the mileage I've been doing every day, you know, I've been pushing myself a little bit. Uh, it's, and so stick into that game plan because the goal is to get to Prudhoe Bay, to get to the Arctic Ocean, to, for me to physically get in the Arctic Ocean. And uh, that's the singular uh, goal here. And I want to accomplish that. So these other things that would be nice to do along the way, uh, if, if I can do it, great. But it's not looking like it's going to go real well for socializing with people I meet and uh, to a great deal and and taking a lot of photos and, and checking in the sites along the way uh, although once i get into alaska and especially when i get north of fairbanks uh, I, I do plan to try to at this point i plan to try to document uh with photos and video uh what it looks like up there and what i see so we'll see um but feeling great and uh super excited I'm a little less sore today than I was yesterday, so feel like I'm starting to get my legs under me and just having a great time. So. Okay, I had to stop here because a uh, very interesting uh, marker on the highway here. I thought you would enjoy this, William. Check this out. Not much of a divide here in North Dakota. Just thought this was great. Six here, uh, testing out the motorcycle. Uh, well, I uh, was successful in running out of fuel, literally uh, about a half a mile from a fuel station. Uh, luckily, there's uh, towing services here that are gonna bring me fuel, won't cost me very much, and I'll be on my way here in just a couple of minutes. But uh, uh, definitely, uh, when that motorcycle is saying, uh, you're low on fuel, uh, within about 15 miles you need to get fuel. That's a lesson learned, but I'm glad I learned it here where there's plenty of services. Um, what I'm finding is the motorcycle just really does drink a lot of fuel. It's got a lot of weight, uh, it's got a lot of wind resistance. When I added the bags and the extra gear, um, it just isn't getting great gas mileage. Uh, you know, so I'm thinking uh, that's something that uh, I really need to take into account when I head north of Fairbanks on the Dalton Highway because uh, it's over 200 miles between fuel stops. So definitely going to be looking at getting an extra gallon or two to carry with me. But uh, uh, kind of a fun little uh, delay here adventure. Beautiful. Hey, here in uh, Portal, North Dakota at the Duty Free Shop. And uh, things are going great. Um, been a long day, day six, uh, ran out of fuel, and the wind's been terrible, so I've had to go slow. In fact, I've been leaning into the wind, 
uh, 15 degrees a lot of times just to maintain my lane. That's on straightaway, so uh, it's, been a, it's been a pretty big uh, eventful day. I feel great. Uh, still got about 100 miles to go to get to Regina, Regina, Saskatchewan. Uh, but I bought some cigars here at the Duty Free just because. So uh, getting ready to cross over into Canada this way. Uh, that's the crossing right there behind me. And uh, we'll see how Canada looks. All right, so I'm in the official uh, uh, the crossing. Uh, I asked lots of questions. It was pretty interesting. I uh, detailed the questions. Want to know my itinerary and why I was going to Alaska. So that was pretty interesting, about, about 10 minutes of questioning. Um, it was interesting. Glad to be in Canada. Glad to be a tourist here. It looks good. It's all like 